What's up, baby? Bar out of my sidewalk. You use it? God dang, five dollars a piece. Three eighths. I'm not getting. Nope. I guess half inch it is. Oh, you know what? Half inch by one. Grab that one. Oh, that's half inch by three. Half inch by four. You're probably gonna want the four, right? Might as well get that extra foot. If it's free. Same yeah, motherfucking price. price. Yeah, absolutely. And in my yard, them bitches go down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have it like at least twenty inches out of the ground to the top of the. Yeah. So, yeah. foot, a little less room. Okay, yeah, grab those. Yeah. Let's grab those. Uh, then we'll have 54 feet in the front. We'll go every, I'd say probably every two foot. Every two foot, put one. So 54 feet. What's up, big dog? How are you, man? My oh, man, I'm, just, yeah. I'm incognito right now. I'm dressed like a Venezuelan. <laughs> I'm trying to blend in with the crowd, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, macho man, baby. Let's go. I've been meeting a lot of Alex's lately, bro. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Alex's. My man. Okay, grab uh, 25 of those. I'm gonna grab, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna grab some shit over here. Are you good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, Rick, you some batteries, dude? Hell yeah. $20. Fucking $21 for last 10 years. <laughs> so we're gonna break that concrete. We're gonna move all that. I got a dumpster coming right now. 18 for a 10? Yeah, you, they squirt that in there and they put bolts in there with it? No, you, you don't even need bolts. Like how, how he's got that rail. Like you just put a round piece of tubing. Or like if you want to put uh, anchors for posts after you pour your slab, mm -hmm. you can drill a hole into it, get your anchor and fucking pour this shit all inside of it. Yeah. Shove that bitch down in there, let it cure. You're so not you're pulling saying, it out. You're saying like the anchor and that? You, you don't even need to use an anchor. Like, if, they usually just have a metal pole. It's no screws, nothing. It's just, you put that in there, you stick it in there, and after it cures, the so fuck is that done. made of? I, I don't, I don't believe it. Science? I don't know. I know, I don't believe science? it. <laughs> I'd still want anchors. Yeah. yeah I yeah. want the adhesive with the anchors. Yeah. Like, look. Like, yeah, just like overkill, but at the yeah. same time, it's like, I don't want to do this shit again. I wouldn't sleep good at night knowing there was that. It's just that. Yeah, right? Grandma's coming over later. Yeah. <laughs> Just to see from the front, one, two, three, four, those five little four foot sections. I'd say those are probably about what? 150, 150, 150, 150, Probably. maybe a thousand pounds, right? Well, I got I got it marked to how Not far even. you it up. I mean, it, it, that, this, this is gonna be kind of deep, but I gotta figure that out with a bobcat, so I don't think you're gonna have to come back today. Shit came the other day here, fucking have my whole street, fucking. Man, this dude spent 20 minutes cleaning up leaves. I, I ain't even got a tree. have a fucking straight line from here to there. You know what I mean? Because they didn't cut our steel like this. Rebar the other side of the driveway string and then string there. it off on the other side and idea. just run it down flat. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Pull that bitch out for me. How's that look? Straight or does it look like it needs to come in a hair? No, it needs to go back out now. Yeah? Yeah. So about right, right here? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Where's this fucking ginormous trench? <laughs> <laughs> Russ came in this bitch with a monster show. Yeah. Oh, Russ! <laughs> Do we not dig it a moat? He's a little thin metal. A moat. Yeah, you didn't realize. He's like metal. It's connected huge. to the koi fish pond. Put a little piranha in it, dude. Yeah. You have a moat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told Papa. I was like, we're putting a moat in here. He's like, yeah, yeah. like alligators. Hell yeah. <laughs> he was like, what? I'm building a badass koi fish pond in my front yard with turf and like stones all around. Yeah. So we dug 
I got like a, a lot going on. Fucking whole house, we just, we're cutting the whole sidewalk out of the front of my house. My guys are there with like a jackhammer right now. I got one of them big ass dumpsters. I'm about to have a bobcat, I think tomorrow and Saturday. Let's go. You already know, look, you got your boy back to life. Shout out to my boy C's. Over the top barbershop, baby. Don't forget it, guys. Two locations in San Antonio, Calebra Road, and over here right on Braun, 1604. So when I come to the Braun, the 1604 one, but every once in a while I pop in over at Calebra, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, quality barbers, man. A lot of good barbers in here. I've had a couple different barbers cut me up when C's can't make it, and all of them, Keep your boy right, dog. Come check him out over the top, baby. Ooh, what are you doing first? Of course, we're gonna torture your wrist first. Okay, great. Honestly, my hands been giving out like crazy. Like, I'm gonna use the thumper on you because I've already packed my theory gun. Let's go. Where are you headed? Corpus to fish. We're gonna go hang out at Corpus Night Fish yeah, on the pier. Yeah, that's be fun. Deeper that one. Holy God. Holy God. At least I haven't called him to God. Yeah. That's good. Holy God. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that can help me. How's your oh, hey, how's your fan? How's your son doing? He's great, man. Yeah. I'm about to have another one. You know that, right? Yeah. Bodie Allen. He's uh gonna be due right after Thanksgiving. What's his first name? Bodie. I love that. Okay. B-O-D-E, okay. Bodie. No, no, no. I know where you got that from. Point break. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're the dude. Patrick Swayze, baby. Yeah. Bodie. Bodie. And I saw the new That's one. That's cool this name. Night. It is. I like that. Name. That's why I was like, because all my other kids have kind of unique names, right. you know? Like my son takes my name, my other son Elijah. He's, you know, they're, they're biblical names. Well, you know, Bodie, the character... Yeah, he was a bank robber, but besides that, yeah. he was a spiritual surfer. He also he had a good heart, man. Good heart. He was intelligent. Of course. Yeah. He put together all these bank robberies. Heck I mean, yeah. imagine what he could have done if he put it out to, to good use. That's yeah. about three out of four in prison. If they use their intelligence to do good instead of crime. That's me. Well, you know, people aren't stupid that are in prison. Me. Of course. A lot of them are really smart who got bored in school, who got mm. in trouble, and that went, went down mm -hmm. the road. There's a lot of smart criminals. Really and then there's some stupid criminals, but you see those on the reels. Yeah. Yes. When, they, when they fall through the, <laughs> the reels. convenience store room. Oh, God. Yeah, I see those. I love those. Yeah. <laughs> you love those dumbass criminals. The ones that get locked, they go in and rob, and then they get locked in the store. Yeah. And they're like, hey, hey no, dog. hey, no, go, here, here, take the stuff back. Let me know. <laughs> the cops are on the way. They're all hiding behind. Yes. That's too funny. All right, face down. Let's check you. Go back out. Man, a boy. Okay, laying your left side. I feel oh, I'm putting size back on. I'm already. I see you. You're bulking like up. 220 again. I remember 16. last time you all shredded. You were like, look at this. Yeah. You were like, I was like, what the? I didn't well, expect you to have a big old six pack. That's when I was 55, yeah. and they kept telling me nobody can get a six pack at 55. And, and I said, you, really? You bet your son. Yeah. And you whooped his ass all over the place. We yeah. his ass. Yeah. All right, you guys have a blessed day. You too, Doc. Keep you safe. Friday, okay? Of course. Have fun on your trip, man. You too. Have a good weekend. I'm gonna see what kind of fish you catch. Waffle head, baby. It's like a waffle. So we need to just yeah. weld front and then marry it up, brought weld back. But we're gonna down. use the big one there in that corner, but then we're gonna be using little ones down the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll just hammer the little ones all the way below the surface, right? Yeah. Get the cutting blade out and just knock out a little spot in the concrete. But yeah. again, it's that's like a quarter of an inch, not really a lot. Getting all hydrated. Beautiful baby. Girl dad. <laughs> Show Ricky your shirt. What? Yes, he does. God got me, she said. Try and force that bend out. And if I have to, I'll take a small piece and weld it to there just to hold it. Okay. Try to clean it. Make sure it's all nice. You're the metal man. Yeah, I think, yeah that's what I was going to say. I think he's right, though. Just start welding, kind of see where we get. Yeah. Bend the wall. Yeah. Bend the wall. That's what we do. Wall benders. 
Not air benders. Wall benders. Rule breakers. Wife wow. takers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Undertaker. <laughs> that was <laughs> Way, baby, we'll get this money. It is a fucking crazy day, though. I swear, man. It's a fucking Friday, and it feels like a Monday. I mean, I know it's Monday and you're watching this, but it's fucking Friday. It's supposed to be a chill day. <sighs> fucking baby mama. Like, what the f? Y'all know that, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys got the baby mama drama. Yeah, I gotta deal with that same shit. It's part of life though. You got three baby mamas. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, a lot of y'all didn't know that about me when you just fucking found out. Three baby mamas. Got, everybody thinks Stax Army is everybody out there. Guys, Stax Army is the amount of kids that I have. <laughs> and baby mamas. Let's go. I'm just kidding. They're like, what? I'm not gonna be Stax Army no more. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I am trying to get my build my own army right now, man. And it starts with the gym. Because if you want people to be like minds, you got to set the fucking guidelines. You know what I'm saying? You want to build a fucking army full of weak people? You want a fucking army full of strong-minded, disciplined, structured individuals who got their shit together. And one of the main things is has a fucking job. Because everybody knows if you ain't got a fucking job, you're probably a scumbag. You're a scam artist. You got to know that somebody can work, guys. They got to be able to work. Discipline and work. Discipline and a day-to-day -day schedule. That's not just all bullshit, I guess you would call it. You know what I mean? Just fun. and You know, it's, it's okay to go on vacation. It's not okay to just vacation all the fucking time. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you got to be a fucking reality or... You'll never be disciplined enough. You know, I know a lot of people who have a lot of money and they're not disciplined enough to even go to the fucking gym because they feel like they've already made it. They've already made it and they got, you know, lots of money so they don't have to take care of their body. But at the end of the day, then I come around and guess what? They want to ask advice. They want to, you know, get back in shape and they want to do this. That's why it's important to be building your body and your mind at the same time you're building your bank account. Does that make sense? It's important to have the same discipline and structure that you have for work after work to yourself. All that time you spend in making money, how much time do you spend on yourself? You know what I'm saying? And that's why I really reflect my whole fucking life is in the gym. For just that one and a half, two hours, I'm gonna go reflect on all the shit that has happened today, this week, last couple months, just whatever, right? Whatever in my mind. And I'm gonna get all that shit out right now. Guess what? At the end of this workout, your boy's gonna be dead fucking tired. None of that shit's gonna matter no more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, just gonna come here, fucking insane, fucking pump right now. Your boy's taking some uh, Let's Go Baby, uh, the Paradise Punch. I got that Crea Pump Pineapple Twist. It gives it that little yellow tint to it. It's fire though. So I mix my Crea Pump Pineapple Twist with my Let's Go Baby pre-workout. One scoop of each right before the workout. I'm turning on South Florida's right now, about to pull up at the warehouse, and uh, I'm about to knock the rest of this bitch down. Guys, that Crea Pump, it's creatine mixed with pump. I don't know if I can stress to you guys enough, it's two in one, and it gives you the craziest fucking pump. You see massive fucking pumps from the, you know, the pump and the citrulline, and then you also get strong as shit from the creatine. It's crazy, your endurance, everything. So y'all need to check it out, man. If you haven't yet, stacksupplements.com. Check out the Let's Go Baby with the Crea Pump. There's an unflavored one too, if you want to mix it with the cherry. But uh, that's what I do. I use the unflavored with the cherry slushy, and then I use the uh, pineapple twist with the uh, Paradise Punch. Let's go. Lots of names here. Paradise Punch. Uh, what is it? Paradise Melon for the BCAAs. You could also use the Crea Pump with the Aminos too. So, all my boys out there working and shit, y'all can be taking that Crea Pump at work and uh, staying hydrated and mixing it with the Aminos. It tastes good. Friday, end of the day. Still gonna get this Monday. 
and we're going to the square business right now. Six, I'm hurting right now.
go wide, baby. Burn these bitches out, that's the only way you can hit cats, man. Burn the shit out of them, stretch them, burn them, stretch them. Uh, strip the fuck out of them later. Rock! It's like the same level as a table in prison in the day room. I just sit there all day, boom, on the table, boom, all day. Fucking push ups like this. And then I do these uh, off the table, duck at my head under the table. Duck on my head under the table right there, just bam, bam. Stretching those triceps. Ah. Ooh, ah. Boom. That's my alone time. I try to only come two times a week so I can do my kids more. Yeah, yeah. I used to come fucking five, six days a week. But you know, now I got a bunch of kids, so you, know, you, gotta, you gotta give them more time than you give yourself, you know what I mean? I try to come in and get it in about an hour, hour and a half. Man, I used to come fucking three hours, two, two hours, two and a half hours minimum. Yeah. Like, but now it's like, and I know a, a buddy of mine had a couple kids, uh, more kids than me at, at first. Now I beat his ass to kids. My buddy Jason Poston would always be like, Joey, we gotta cherish these workouts, bro. You know, our kids and stuff. And I'm thinking like, what you talking about, man? I go to the gym all the time. Like, I ain't gotta rush shit. And then now I understand exactly what it means because I wouldn't rush to get home to my little babies before I miss something. You know, yeah. my girl's pregnant right now, so any day now she's yeah, well, five. I counted, oh, I counted him already. Okay. Yeah, he's here already with us. Yeah, yeah. He's just in the womb. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So everybody in the gym will always be here. I've injured myself, lost 20 pounds, 25 pounds, came back, put it all back on again, injured myself again, another hernia, lost 20 pounds, came back again. So it's just like going out to the club. If you take a week off, two weeks off, I guarantee you, go back, the same people are gonna be there. It's gonna look even more like shit. Even three days for me is hard, bro. And I mean, the body remembers. Yeah. The body remembers that. And it's like rest, too. Like, I tell people, like, you gotta rest. And a lot of people, including myself, I was like bodybuilding and training like crazy. I'm doing myself no rest. Even if I'm taking super subs or whatever, it doesn't matter. You still need rest, right? So it's like, once I started taking these off days, like I told you, I'm doing three days a week, so it's every other day usually. Bro, I packed on like eight pounds in two weeks. Just, maybe a little fluffy, but it's all good. It's winter time. It's coming up, bro. Yeah, no, nah, and it's, I tell people, I, pretty, I stay pretty lean, about 12% all year round, so I'll recognize, man. Yeah, bro, you have a good workout, man. You just got here? Oh. All right, let's see what I got in here. 
Voila. Protein, very, very important. T-shirt, also important. Mm -hmm. so, the throwback, baby. Straight out of excuses. No motherfucking excuses, baby. No breaks. We got water out of here. We got a haul ass. Gonna take the old lady to get her nails done. I get to go to the gym. I promise to take her to get the nails done. Let's go.